let me first add this piece and um, I think it's nice to do the first on the bottom, the second one in the middle and the last one on top. So that is what I'm going to do and like I told you earlier I think it's nice to add another fold line in here. So let's line this up and I'm going to make how much do we want. Um, it does not need that much but I do like a little so I'm gonna add another fold line stay straight so it gives that little extra space gently fold this down That's the beauty of a long hinge, it's sturdy and you can do extra things on if it's needed. And I think it's needed. So I'm just going to fold this. Yes. Okay, so we make this little extra on here, this extra fold line. And if I now add this at the bottom, we have plenty of space. It's it's nice. All right, so I'm going to add my glue. And a long hinge is sturdier. It will hold way much better than a half inch hinge, especially when this is pretty heavy. So that is why I'm going to use this long hinge fully. Let's glue it on. I'm going to put this at the bottom. I want to keep a little of the edge. Just a little. And this is nicely on the edge. Correct. Brown your glue down so it attached nicely. Yay. That's nice. So if this is completely, it will be sturdier, of course. And we have a full page what we can add nice things on. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, I like it. I don't know if this is too bulky or not. Is this too bulky? Could be. But in the meantime, this will be flat. I just like it to add it on here. Okay, so what can we do more on this page? Let's see, let's see. I saw in the A4 uh, pack that there are two beautiful pages and I want to use these. So it will be a nice eye catcher. Um, let me see which one. I think this one, this one I'm going to use first. So what do you think about a nice big flap on here? I think that's a good idea. So let's make it easy. This is too short. Okay. How to make a customized, so I want to use this fully, this full page I like to use. So how I'm going to make that without measuring, we'll make it easy peasy. 
well, just glue this on. And I'm gonna mind I've got a little up. I wanna make a right side on this side a hinge. So I'm gonna glue it down on the left side of this paper. I'm gonna cut along the long side. Here we go, and now of course we're going to make a hinge right along this paper. And now we can cut this down a bit shorter and fold it over. Can I cannot make it any easier. Oh, that's a lot of glue. Wait just a second. Here we go. Yay. So this can be on top here. Nice on the edge, right there. So on each page where I added this pocket, I want to keep it simple. Simple but still nice. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Now, what else? What else can we do? On this side, you can uh, make a small pocket. Yeah, you know me, I like pockets. <laughs> I always like pockets. You can make it um, with designed paper, or you can make it with some black, a nice black leftover piece, like I now do. Make a mark, make a fold line, cut it shorter with your paper trimmer or with your scissor. I can't make it any easier than this. It's simple, simple, simple. Now you also can make a nice photo frame um, on here, but you know me, I do like having the photographs loose, so it's replaceable, but that's totally up to you. If you want to make a photo mat, page or, or pocket, that's totally up to you. But for me, for this time, I like to make an album that you can add many, 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 many pictures, but you can replace them. So if you don't like, if you have another vacation or something like that, you can replace it. All right, so I'm going to search for some nice backgrounds. And then I'll come back to you. <laughs> okay, for this page, I think um, I will stop because, yeah, I think it's thick enough for one page. Because this is actually a nice thick item. So, yeah, so this flips to the, this way to the right. I was planning on this right here, but I don't know, I think this will be in the way with this. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but you get the picture. Then there is going to need something on here. Oh, that's nice too. All right, so um, let's put this on here. Yeah, that's the finishing touch. Okay, now this one I use a very, very large page and I cut out this one so you can put your photos in there if you like. And even you can put some photos on the back if you like. This, this, this string is just decoration. I don't think it's, it's, it's doing something, but I just love it. <laughs> I saw this on the A4 pack. And I thought, oh, that will be fun to keep the pictures a bit more on its place. And yeah, it's, it's just fun. All right, so now get back on 
the back. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, I am going to start and I picked out this piece of paper and I'm going to cut the full length of it because it's just too beautiful. And I'm going to make some marks. So this will be my base. Let me cut this first. There we go. So this is the base. Oh yes it is. I'm gonna cut it just a single millimeter smaller so I have a bit more work space. I'm gonna cut it just a little smaller. Yes, this is better. So if I added some hinges underneath this, and it don't get too close to the edges. So this is my base, and let's work with this one. So I'm gonna put away that base page, and I'm gonna smooth the edges. And I have something in mind with this page. Of course, we wanna add some activity, some fun. So when you open it all up, then you will see this. Perfect. All right, let's see what we can do on this page. Okay, on this page, I want to make an older page that I also did in the Cosmos album. I just love that page and I want some extra activity in this album too. So I decided to do um, again that page. So let's dig in. So what we're going to make is four flippable pages, one up, one down, one left, one right. And yeah, it's actually pretty simple, but it's always the case that I told you, that I tell you. <laughs> All right, so now the first one, I'm gonna make the inside ones, the up and down. Normally I would not like to do that, but this is going to be a custom made album. So I like to do that now. Now on Christmas, um, Julie from England, a dear friend of mine sent me some nice um, dies and I like to use them in this project. I think I'd like to use this one. So when I'm going to use this I need to know how wide this is so yeah this is definitely a five and a half. So I'm going to make my one five and a half two. Yes. Alright, so that's the first thing I like to do. Cut this at five and a half. And then I'm going to make a hinge. And let me think. I think this can be just straight with no extra depth. So if this one goes under here, then how wide do I want this to go? Well, I think somewhere like here. So how much is that? I think, yeah, normally for a photo, but I, I want to make it high. So we have that space. So I'm going to make it nine inches. So we can add lots of things on here. Okay, so this is the base. I'm not gonna glue it down just yet. Now the other one needs to go also five and a half. So let's cut again, five and a half. Check, yep, it's straight. And make a half inch hinge with that too. Now this one, let me put this away just a second. This one goes up and I like to add something down here with a round piece. I don't know exactly which one because 
we still have a lot of I also can use a clock let's check it out here is a clock that's a good one and these are all too big so I think I'm going to use that clock what do you say you can use anything of course but let me just cut this out because we do have lots of embellishments to cut out but I like to have them still on the sheet so it's easier to pick it out otherwise you have all little pieces in one basket and then it's hard to choose so that is why um, do we also have some numbers I don't think so but I do oh yeah here are some but I don't like them actually and I do have, let's check it out, I do have these, oh yes, I love them. Okay. Let's pick a board. This is fun. Yep, I like it. This I like. Yeah, and you still can turn this. It's way sturdier than to cut out paper um, things. All right, so this is this is going to be on some black paper too but I just wanted to see how because this I like this down here not too deep but I still want I'm not gonna do this just yet I just like to work first on the sides and the sides I like to make them I want to use the 6x6 papers too so that means that I want these papers to be um, a bit larger, I think 618 so then I have a nice size yeah 618 so I have that paper correctly so yeah it's a strange number I know but Hey, we can do it, we can do it, 618, oh, let's cut it on the long side, 6, okay, um, let's, I need to check it out with my fiscal, it's a little different with 618, I need to check it out, yeah, that's about, This is only why I am a little accurate because I want to use my. See, it's a bit too wide, but I. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut just a little bit off. I want to use. Yep, yeah, this is better. Alright, so I need two of these, so I'm gonna cut the same size making a nice mark cut it too well, perhaps can I not use two no, I don't know yet just wait just wait and see okay let's make a flippity flop so yeah we actually are doing all four at once I hope you still can understand what I am doing. Yeah, no, I like this all the way to here, half a uh, one inch shorter. So make a mark and cut it out. Yep, 
this is what I like. So actually for you, if you like to use the same measurement, it's seven, seven inch. Okay, so this comes to the left, rip right here. Now we need, of course, another one. So yes, I am going to cut on that mark, which we just did. Measure. Right here. Making a flippity flop. And then I'm going to cut at seven, same size as this one. Okay. And this goes on here. Yes, that is cool. Oh, but, 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 these ones are, oh, I totally forgot about that. Mm, okay. No worries. No worries at all. This needs to be, need to be a little higher. So we can do that on a little stage. First of all, eyeball the middle. Yes, just use something to hold it down for just a second. Okay, now this one goes on the left. Okay, just use something to hold it down for just a second. All right, now this one goes on top, but this goes under. This goes under. Eyeball the middle. I am just going to eyeball the middle. Put something on here too, if you like. Okay, now, now it comes to this because I want that this comes under. And it just, it just is fitting but it's really low and also can put it right here but mm, what do you say do you want like to see this all the way down then it's a large up page don't you think hmm okay what shall we do Oh, we can use a smaller piece. I don't know. Do we have a smaller piece? You also can use this one. That's also nice. Just to put right under here. Hmm. That's of course a possibility. Or this kind of thing. That's also nice. Okay, let's just real quick see what else do I have. Do you know what? I'm gonna do that. Which one do you like? Do you like this piece? If it's a nice closure? Yeah, I like it. And just cut it out. See, my videos are always just go with the flow, talk a little bit, change a bit. And it's always better to watch first before you glue something down because you never know with me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna use this one. Smooch the edges so everything what I don't want to see you can smooch away. Now there is a little yellow on here and actually I don't want to see that too much so I'm going to smooch it. Oh yeah, that's way better. Yes. Alright, so again, this I like to see right under. So I'm going to cut this piece off. Okay. Oh. So cut that off and then it's the nice length for here. Yep, it is. 
it does and then the other one is this length comes under here so it's just a little focusing but yeah this is this is good i like the sizes of it uh, we still can add here some swing tabs to keep it all down yes 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 i like it all right before i go to decorating and kind of things i'm gonna cut first this piece to see how nice it is oops which brand is it it's Desiree. Desiree Design Cut Create. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. This is loose. I think it's needed. I'm going to put this through my cutting machine and then see what I got. Yep. Alright. Fun, 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 fun. I think I'm gonna use these for restoring. That's a good idea. Let's put this back in here. Alright, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm gonna start with the top one. And I don't have to make this thicker. So I'm just gonna make it flat. I'm not need it because under this I'm not going to make this too bulky. And under here I believe on this piece right here. So this is large so you can add lots of things on it. Now the next one you need to line this up with the top one so first of all I'm gonna lay this neat flip it over add some glue so that is the first step and of course this goes under this one Alright, so that is step one. Now we first can make these nice, so you definitely know later how deep you need to make this with an extra depthness. Oh my gosh. I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> so I believe this one needs to go right here. Let's check it out. I thought that was the meaning. So I'm going to glue this down. And this has no particular meaning of, um, of a magnet or something. But I'm just going to glue this down. And then I'm going to cut around the edges. Okay. I am just thinking I do have something to test out still. <coughs> So I am going to see. Now what I was, what I'm going to tell you is you can gloss something like this and, this and I do like that. Now I can use this one, glossy accents and let it dry. But I also have something to try out. I'm going to try it together with you. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's continue with... Um, yeah, I still don't know exactly how um, deep, but I am gonna make just to be sure. Let me just put that light back on. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, some light. Um, but just to make sure, so I'm gonna make. Yeah, I'm just going to make one fourth extra. I think we need that. And same on that other one. Um, yeah, 
Yes, same. Same on the other one. Um, okay, so if this is going to be right here. Just gonna make these two equal, so also one eight extra. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna glue these down already, so that there's nothing to be mistaken. <laughs> Waited too long. Okay. Oh, put it on the wrong side. Go. Where is your hat? needs to glue on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Okay. Yes, okay. And then this is another little thicker. And let's do the same on this piece. Is, do you re recognize that page already or aren't you? Okay. So, um, which side do I want to make this up? Yep, on this side. I want to make that closure. All right, so finally we have the time. <laughs> it's time to add our thing on here, perhaps it's nice that this goes under here, something like that. Do you like it like this? Or completely? What do you say? Difficult, isn't it? You also can use this one. It's also possible. I think I like it like this. Yes. Yes. All right. So that means that I'm going to glue this one down right here. glue it down because I need a piece first. I need piece. <laughs> I need a nice piece. This is too busy. This one perhaps if it fits. Oh yeah it fits nice. I'm gonna put this on there. Okay so 
So I make my drawings where the half will go. down okay and now I can cut this down right along this edge right here and then just go to Cut it down. Feels for the edge. I don't know if I like that edge just yet, but I'm just gonna see how this turns out. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> Took me a long time. But... <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is what I like. If it's a nice little closure, but of course there isn't. Yep, I like it. That's cool. All right, so now we can go further with the decoration, and I like to go first to the bottom. And of course we want to make a pocket wide on top here with that nice die. And so I'm going to make a nice little pocket right here. I'm going to make a mark where my hinges need to go. Just small hinges are good. Now, if you like this to be shorter, then you can cut it down, but I think the length is cool. So I'm going to glue it down. There we go. And now I put, I'm going to search for a nice background to put in the back um, let's see what do we have okay I have cut out some more two of each Ooh, you don't want to ruin these okay two of each very nice so 
I'm definitely going to use these, I hope, in this album. But we'll see. We'll see about that. Okay, let me search a nice background. All those little pieces. Oh, here was my 6x6. Six six. Okay. Um, why I'm doing this first with the 6x6 six six is... Just because... I like you lady, but... I think I have that image quite a lot. This one is also nice for the green. Alright, so I'm going to use this green for the back. Always leave your strips. Okay, let's test it out. Let's see, that's perfect. Now you don't want to put this too high like this. But it managed all the way, so it's a perfect fit. So that is what I'm going to use. Now you always can, if you like, I don't know, use a strip. Hmm. Okay, you're just going to do that. Gives it just that little extra thing, extra touch. And it's a great way to use your strips, your cutouts. Okay, now that means that I can cut a little piece of this one too. So I do have another strip. <laughs> I just love using strips, you know that already, don't you? Okay, push this in on the right spot. There we go. And now just decorating this um, front page, front pocket. some wet let's see what we have left right here to use first some leftover pieces leftovers oh this one is nice oh my gosh and it totally fits Oh, okay, let's use that. Alright, how deep is that one going? That's right here. Okay guys, I'm cutting this down. Save your strip. Smooch the edges and glue it down. is very delicate so I have to be aware of this little piece right here okay that is cool I don't know if a photo mat of course a photo mat will fit in here of course okay so you can put a lot of things in there if you like perfect all right so that is step one okay so on the back you can um, make a nice place for photo mat you like that or you can use your uh, imagination <laughs> for using all your leftover pieces 
and just add nice papers on that. So I'm gonna do that because I told you I do not like making too much white space, white photo mats that are glued down. So I'm gonna make this nice decoration with my papers because we have a lot of nice papers to use i do love this image why is this image so darn cute this is also very very nice what will fit with this one oh so cute Cute, 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 cute. It's so cute. This one is also very nice. Why do I love these too much? Okay, I can't choose. <laughs> <coughs> Still have a long piece also. Ooh. Nope. I'm gonna use this one. And now again I have a nice strip. So I'm gonna use first this strip that I just cut off. Then I'm gonna smooch the edges. First I'm gonna search for the bottom. This is not nice. I do like something wettish. Is this nice? For a little tuck spot? I think it is. Okay. Let's cut this shorter. The white spot for it. I think I need to cut it down just a little more. So it's a bad fit. Fit, 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 fit. It's okay. Where is my mark? Where is my mark? I think this one is. Especially because there are so many nice tags you can use in the A4 sheet. So is this not gorgeous? This is absolutely nice. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, look at this. Perfect. 
perfect and you can add a nice little tag in here oh this one i need to glue down on some black because this was the back of a front page so that is cool can cut it out let me use my cutter You have a nice little pocket. Cool. Like that. Okay. This bag I don't like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a little more nice. And I don't know if this is nicer, but at least I'm trying. <laughs> This is way better. This is cool. Yeah, okay, so this is the front. Not the front. It's the first one we did. <laughs> this one goes down. This is the first one. Yes. Now I go to this one right here. And then this closes over this one. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so let's decorate. <laughs> okay guys, on the bottom I do like to make another pocket. Same one as this one, but then the other other um, that other shape. So I'm gonna glue it down. So yeah, I made the hinges um, a bit longer. I don't know why, but it's no use. I could have cut these shorter, but I'm just going to leave them. Okay. Don't forget to glue down the bottom too. Let me put this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this on the bottom. Okay, so this is coming down here, and then we have a big pocket, so you can uh, put some nice things on. Um, I did use this one. Do I have that one more time? I don't think so, but that's okay. Because we do have larger pieces. And it's not particularly needed that we want to sing. But yeah, you know me. <laughs> I just like that. And we do have plenty of those wet flowers. So yeah, I do like it. Um, I think I'm going to cut a piece from here. So we have a nice edge for the bottom. So it comes back, so that is what I like. Let this come back. Okay, so this is what I want. Okay, uh, now whatever you like, to add on here is of course cool you can use anything now I don't want to waste this beautiful image that is definitely a 
big. No, no. Always try to search to your leftover pieces. See, this is a nice quiet one, and then I still can add a little piece on the top. This is a nice quiet one. Just how I like it. In the meantime, we can do a little chit chat while you're seeing me put some design paper on. Um, before this is going to be online, of course, you know that already. It's already, well, perhaps months that I do this, or weeks. But there is a virus going on, the coronavirus. Oh my goodness, um, yeah, it's it's so much on the news, it is, and that's not nice, of course, it isn't, and I hope everything is, for everybody is okay, but yeah, I assume that not everybody can say that, I have no clue, but it's getting closer, and... I heard this morning someone from the next city in here, so the next village, there is uh, one person who has that virus, so yeah, it's coming closer and closer each day, and yeah, like I said, I have no clue if you can avoid it, or I have no clue, I'm trying the best I can not to worry too much for it, but yeah, it's all over the news and it's all, yeah, even on the, um, how you call that, my, my, my daughter is using the bus to go to the school and um, the bus station, that big train station, bus station, a lot, a lot, a lot of people do have wearing those mouth caps and I thought, oh wow. That is very close, and that, that's a good idea, of course, but I don't know if you can prevent it then. I have no clue for that. I keep telling that it's just a flu, and yeah, some people always, um, every time people can um, die on the flu. So I don't think it's particularly um, that it's... That's because this coronavirus, I have no idea, because uh, in 2017, uh, we looked it up, here in Holland, there were 900 people dying on that flu back then, in 2017, and that's a lot for this small country. So, yeah, I hope this passes by, but... I assume next year or the day or the year after that, there will be another one. I, I, we can't avoid that any longer, but it's the same, it, the flu is the flu, but I never heard that they put a, a name on it, but that's the same thing as the storms that are, keep coming back recently. They keep telling storms also names, and well, in the past they never did that. So yeah, that's also a new thing. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's odd, uh, and it's all very very strange. And uh, yeah, I know. But I hope we all are okay and we can only do the best we can. You can't avoid it to get it, I don't think so. Um, I was planning to go to a big craft fair in Germany and it's about two to three weeks from now. But I already told my mom, perhaps it's better to stay at home and not to go, but yeah, when, I don't know if that's that's needed to be done but I think it is I don't know but for now I was saying to my mom perhaps it's better to stay in oh we still have this piece right here um, 
This one I created with just a leftover piece and it's just um, a little booklet where you still can add little photos in there. And um, yeah, you also can put it right in here if you like. If you like, you don't have to use this. It's cool. What do you like? If you like that, I do think, do we have that space for that? I don't know. Otherwise, I just want to use a tin photo, photo frame. Yep. Let's do that first. Let's see how how this goes, perhaps on another page. But in the meantime, this is done. So now I go to the back. Um, this is pretty odd to do that. So I'm gonna flip this back in and then I'm gonna flip it to here. So now I'm gonna use my leftover power. <laughs> okay, and this is how it looks when I'm done. So I'm just choosing the biggest ones. Um, to fill up and if you jump a little to the right and a little to the left, it's not it, it, it's just playful and um, Yeah, you know me. I just I just love using um, Little talk spots where you can add little notes in here to write something down um, What you have experience and when I done this I thought I could use Right here, also a little talk spot to create a nice little talk spot for your photo, but I forgot. But you can, but you can. Yes, all right. So the bottom pieces are done. So this is the first one, and then this goes down, and then left, right. All right, so still loads of place. So that is what I like. Cool. So yeah, pocket here, this flips up, top spot here, pocket here. Oh, and this one screams for something. Oh, nope, nothing, nothing. It screams for nothing because we do have that piece right there. And you still can add something like this, but then it's not nice. Okay, so it's not screaming for something. Oh, all right. All right, it's gone. The time is up for today. Gonna need to do some little grocery to the postman. Also, put some bread. Not on the postman, but on the post office. But you know what I mean. All right. So that's for today. Um. Till see you tomorrow. Bye bye.